Ding. Rampage. Hey everyone, welcome back for a brand new video about the show that finally just dropped a new trailer, The Walking Dead. Warning, beyond this point there are spoilers for people who are not up to date on The Walking Dead television series and comic books. In this video we're going to take a look at the brand new trailer that AMC just posted for Season 9B titled New Threats. Leave it to AMC to put us all into a frenzy with just 30 seconds of mostly new material. We're also going to talk about the reviews of the first two episodes of Season 9B that are just starting to pop up online. First, let's dive into this new footage that we've all been jonesing for. Although AMC calls this a teaser, we consider it a trailer, as there is definitely story info in the new promo the network has just posted. The initial shot gives us a close-up of the prisoner first seen being brought into the gates in the original Season 9B trailer, and that is definitely Alpha's daughter Lydia. Michonne is mean mugging hard here while Yumiko is in the background looking pretty bummed out. The next shot is easy to miss as it's only a fraction of a second but slowed down is an unmistakable dead Jesus. That shot transitions into this one of a very scared looking whisperer which matches a shot from the behind the scenes meet the whisperers promo. The following shot shows Daryl, knife raised, unmasking the frightened whisperer and just as we predicted this is Lydia. After that shot is a close up of Lydia's mask in Daryl's hand. Even though it's just a mask, it is pretty creepy. That shot cuts to this one of Lydia being dragged somewhere inside the hilltop with a cell most likely being her final destination. A stoic looking Tara can be seen in the background here. The next shot shows a scared Lydia in her cell on the ground backing up against the wall. Who is she so scared of? After that is a shot of Daryl closing her cell door. We wonder if these shots belong together or if they have just been edited that way. The following shot shows the kingdom's king and queen in somewhat of a foggy background. Carol looks very serious, although Ezekiel's face is harder to read. So are we doing this or what? We're not sure what exactly Carol is referring to, but at least we only have to wait a few more weeks to find out. This shot here looks like it's in Ezekiel's theater, but we're not positive about that. The space these walkers and possible whisperers are entering looks like it's been weakly barricaded, but that won't hold for long. The next shot shows Carol drawing her bow and getting ready to shoot an arrow. Again, it's hard to confirm a location. After that, we get an extended look at a shot from the first Season 9B trailer of Magnus Group along with Tara and some hilltoppers power walking towards some zombies. Or are they whisperers? Tara says, It's not safe out here anymore until we find out what this is. And she's right. The following shot shows Luke and Alden on some sort of scout that most likely matches this moment from the first trailer. They are looking at an arrow which could be from the Whisperers or another group of survivors. Drop it! The next shot shows the badass Beta in his best close-up yet. It appears he's wearing a Have a Nice Day shirt and rolling with a squad of Whisperers. After that we get a much needed shot of Dog running through the woods and it appears Henry and possibly Connie are with him. There's a third person all the way in the back that we just can't make out. Following that shot is two shots we've already seen in the first trailer. One of Alpha in the woods as Lydia's voiceover even says, My mom. And then the shot of Luke and Alden staring at something looking concerned with a whisperer off to their right. Those shots cut back to a new shot of Lydia and her cell telling Daryl not to mess with her mom. That shot cuts to Daryl asking where she is as he clearly wants revenge for Jesus. The next shot shows Daryl out near the woods watching a group of walkers who possibly include some whisperers. The last shot of this new trailer is our favorite one as Alpha pulls out her iconic sawed off shoddy and it tells us we'll probably be getting this moment from the comic books. Given the look of the woods in this shot it appears to confirm that Luke and Alden will become Alpha's prisoners. That's all the shots of the new trailer and even though we got our fix we want more. Last year AMC dropped a few new trailers for season 8B in close proximity to each other and we hope that's the case here and this is just the start of the new footage. Certain media outlets have been given the first two episodes of Season 9B and are starting to post reviews and we want to go over what details we can get from them. Insider posted a mostly positive review about the episodes. The mid-season premiere is an extended episode which will run from 9 o'clock to 10.14 Eastern Time, although they don't mention the exact runtime of the episode. As we know, the episode is directed by Greg Nicotero and is written by Corey Reed, who also wrote Carl's send-off for the eighth season's mid-season premiere. Insider recommends that you watch the mid-season finale directly before the episode as it picks up right where the shocking finale left off. 
Although Insider claims there are no big flashy moments like we usually see in the midseason premieres, there's a lot of great storytelling in there. Michonne is reportedly great in every scene she's in, and Daryl has a really strong outing throughout the two episodes. Hopefully that means a lot more dog too. We'll also see what Negan has been up to, and Angela Kang has been quoted to Insider as saying there's a pretty cool story to be told there, seeing his evolution in the character. Will Negan become a whisperer? We think so, but we'll know for sure very soon. Be glad you don't know. The Undead Walking website also received the episodes early and stated that the best way to describe these two episodes is satisfying. They would also state that if the rest of the season is like these two episodes, it's season 9B will blow our minds. We cannot wait to see what Kang has in store for our favorite and most feared apocalyptic survivors. Undead Walking's review was pretty much all positive, and they promised there would be some exciting pairings of characters that will be fun to explore in future episodes. Who do you think these paired characters will be? Forbes also received the episodes early. They are usually tougher on the series than most media outlets, but even they say that these episodes are a solid start to the Whisperer storyline. They miss Carl, as do all of us, but they don't say Henry was bad in his role. I'm sorry. <laughs> Forbes also stated that some interesting work has been done with Tara, as most people feel she's been a useless character for a while now. Yeah, I'm a piece of shit. Why would you want my help? Can Angela Kang make Tara likable? Coming from the usually highly critical Forbes, we think that's actually now a possibility. The second episode promises flashbacks, although they aren't about the X-Scars, which we believe won't be until episode 14, due to a deleted Instagram pic by the episode's director, covered in one of our previous videos. According to Forbes, the flashbacks will explain the Whisperer's origin story. Forbes would go on to state that Alpha is different from the comics and not what we're expecting to see. What do you think? Will Alpha be all she's been hyped up to be? At least we don't have to wait too much longer to find out for sure. Thanks so much for watching our videos, everyone. As always, we're on the lookout for new promotional footage and insider info to help prove or disprove our theories and come up with better ones. Please let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Binge Rampage. Turn on the notifications button for our channel so you can see our next video as soon as it comes out. And don't forget to subscribe. Whisper, whisper, so they cannot hear.